So it is our responsibility to end the war sooner than later. Here we are sitting together for the first time to discuss important issues confronting all of us. Before we begin our first session, allow me to share few thoughts to frame our discussion. Colleagues, we are meeting today at a time of great challenges. The world has yet to recover from the pandemic, but we are already confronted with another crisis, the war in Ukraine. The ripple effects are being felt globally on food, energy, and fiscal space. And as always, developing and low-income countries are impacted the most. The question is, can we solve these global problems by our own? The answer is no. Global challenges require global solutions. But honestly, we cannot deny that it has become more difficult for the world to sit together. Current world situation makes people losing faith in multilateralism and its capacity to respond effectively to global challenges. But can we imagine if we have to live without multilateralism? I'm sure the situation will be even worse. Let's try to do our best and multilateralism will only deliver if there is trust among us. The phrases in the UN Charter are very clear. To maintain international peace and security in conformity with the principle of justice and international laws, to develop friendly relations among nations, and to achieve international cooperation in solving international problems. So, it is our responsibility to end the war sooner than later and settle our differences at the negotiating table, not at the battlefield. It is also our responsibility to build bridges, not walls, to promote common interests, not self-interest, and to be part of solution. On our part, Part, my president, President Joko Widodo, held intensive communication with many of your leaders. He actively participated in many international events, including the G7 and uh, Partner Country Summit, the BRICS Summit, and many more. He visited Kiev and Moscow just a week ago. Because peace and humanity are at the heart of our independent and active foreign policy, as mandated by Indonesian constitution. So we always stand ready to contribute to answer challenges we face today. Excellencies, colleagues, the world is watching us, so we cannot fail. G20 must be a beacon of solution.